Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a very easy step-by-step -step back to school look that I think is pretty simple. Um, it may be a little bit too much for some people, but it's easy to achieve. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is hydrate my face with the Hard Candy Hydrating Primer. Then we're going to go into uh, moisturizing and I like to use Clinique's Dramatically Different Gel. And also we're going to put some chapstick so that those lips can be moisturized by the end of the day. I went ahead and sped up my eyebrow routine. You guys already know this. I have a video linked. You can check that out if you want to see how I do my eyebrows. Now we're going to go ahead and color correct. For me, I need some color correcting because I've got some hyperpigmentation going on and some acne scars and all that good jazz. So yes, this is how I color correct. I use the um, LA Girl Pro Conceal color in orange first. In all my darker skin pigmentations, this cancels out any blue colors that you may have. I also now went in with my um, Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Concealer in Brightener. I'm going to go ahead and use my Real Techniques Blending um, Sponge to kind of spread out the brightener, as you will. Then we're going to go into uh, highlighting. My highlighter that I use is the LA Pro Conceal Highlighter in the color Medium Beige. I use this to kind of just even out everything else that I did as far as um, correcting. Then I also used my NYX uh, Concealer in HD in 07 together with this. So we're going to go ahead and blend this out as well and just even out all that skin tone. And you're probably wondering why I do concealer first. And then uh, later on, you'll see that I do my foundation. But for me, I think this works well as far as blending and matching everything together and making it look seamless. Everyone has a different way of doing it. This is just the way I do it. And I prefer to do it this way. Uh, it works best for me. So you just want to make sure that you blend and blend, blend. Make sure everything is very well blended. Next, we're going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me. Um, foundation in 330. This is the matte and poreless one. We're also going to add some MAC strobe lotion in there. Um, and mine is, was uh, different from the one that MAC currently has, but um, they do have a strobe cream that you can check out. It's pretty much almost the same thing. Then we're going to go ahead and blend this out. And if you can see, the foundation kind of just sits better when I do it this way because I've already highlighted what I need to highlight and then the foundation is my skin tone. So it kind of just blends in perfectly for me this way. All right. We're going to use my Kat Von D powder foundation in the color 62 medium and we're just going to set everywhere I put foundation on using a Sandra Kushik, Sonia Kushik, I'm sorry, Sonia Kushik brush. Then we're going to set the concealer that we put underneath the eyes with some Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I use one of those just um, little sponges that kind of have that angle. You can find those anywhere. So I put the banana Ben Nye powder. Uh, I really like the way this feels um, and doesn't make it look cakey for me underneath my eyes. And I am uh, yellow toned, so this works well for my skin. I have a lot of yellow tones in my skin. So wherever I highlight it, I put the banana powder and that works well. Then I just kind of spread the rest with this brush from um, e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Let's see. I'm sorry, it was from BH Cosmetics, the brush. It's no name, just a regular black brush you can spread powder with. So right now we're gonna go in with the ColourPop Genesis Quad Pad. Quad, <laughs> Genesis Quad. Quad, uh, this was from ColourPop. It is limited edition, don't know if they still have it. But we're going to use the first color, which is Un, um, and that is one for French, I believe. And then we're going to 
top that with Birthday Boy, which was also a limited edition throughout the summer, this past summer that passed. Um, ColourPop releases a limited edition shadow every year. So this was my first one because I didn't get to get the first years, which was Birthday Girl, if I'm not mistaken. But now I'm rambling. But anyway, we're going to go in with the second color, with the third color. This is Do or Two in French from that quad that I mentioned using the um, Wet n Wild blending brush. I find those at Dollar Tree actually for a dollar, guys. This next color is Troy or three from the Genesis quad pad and it is sort of like a reddish um, tone very very bright much brighter than I thought it would be and I'm using again the wet and wild brush and this is also the real techniques blending brush and we're just gonna make sure that that's completely blended so it doesn't look so harsh um, then we're going to add the last and final color which is Quatre, which is number four from the Genesis Quad um, uh, Quad. Then just make sure to blend that in as well and use a clean brush to blend it all together. And this, well, it doesn't look right now, but as I blend, it'll come together. Make sure you get the bottom part as well. And don't worry about it being messy. You'll go back and fix all of that. Now I'm using an Eco Tools double end dip brush and I'm using the part that has the shader brush to add that Dewey number three from the Genesis Quad pad from the Genesis Quad quad. I'm gonna add that reddish tone that we use on top. And if you can see it's all blended now, then I'm using the other end of that Eco Tools brush to apply the darker shade in the quad, and that is number four. Quatre. This brush I got from an Estee Lauder set many, many years ago. So I'm going to be using the uh, number two from the Genesis Quad to kind of just even out the bottom of my my eyes. Then I'm going to apply the gel for my eyebrows. Um, that is in my eyebrow tutorial. And then I'm also going to be using the NYC liquid liner to create a wing liner because I love a wing liner and I'm sure you guys, most of you guys um, love wing liner too. It takes time and practice, guys. Don't, don't, don't get discouraged. Um, but I do like a wing liner look, especially when I'm going to school. This is kind of a staple for me. I use that all the time. I do a liner, a wing liner all the time. Next product I'm going to be using is my Rimmel Scandalize. Retro Glam Mascara in the color Extreme Black. I love this mascara. It is very, very thick, and I love the way it separates my lashes. Next thing we're going to do is apply lashes. This is optional, guys. You don't have to. I kind of just sped up through it. These are the Salon Perfect 614s. Then we're going to bronze up that face and bring some color back. I'm using the NYX matte bronzer in the color deep this is the darkest shade they have for me it works i love the way this looks gives me that color right back and you just i'm using the elf blending brush this brush is amazing for blending any type of powders um even foundations it's a great great brush and it's super dense and that's the reason why i like it it blends in that um, bronzer perfectly so i use that to blend in this color the next brush I'm going to be using is a BH Cosmetics brush that just has not no number. It came in a set. And what I do is I use this on the bridge of my nose to kind of create a thinner, slimmer nose. Um, the same powder from matte, from NYX matte bronzer. I use the same powder and then I just blend with the same brush I use to blend the rest of my bronzer as well. And it kind of just tapers my nose a bit. Next, we're going to be using the um, Revol Makeup Revolution. This is a product that's fairly new at Ulta. It's a, their Vivid Bake Highlighter, but I love this stuff. This is a beautiful, beautiful highlighter that looks white in the pan, but it's actually really, really gold when it hits the skin. And it suits all sorts of skin tones. And this is what I will be using to highlight, as you can see. I highlight my nose first, 
And then I go into highlighting my cheekbones uh, and I use the Mac Fix Plus to accentuate that highlighter. As you can see by my expression, yeah, Mac Fix Plus is life when it comes to highlighting. It brings out those colors beautifully in that highlighter and I cannot recommend the highlighter enough. I think it's under seven bucks and it's well worth every penny. It's uh, a bit powdery, but it's workable. So I love it. So I highlight my um, the bottom of my lips. Don't know why I highlight that, but I do. I feel like it accentuates my lips and also my cupid's bow. And then we're going to add that fix plus to kind of just set everything into place. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use Max lip liner in the color Whirl to lip line our lips. Uh, this is a very nice mauvey brown color that I love and it suits my skin tone perfectly, most other skin tones as well. And then I also love MAC Pervet, which is a frost lipstick from MAC that I love. Um, and I think it's the perfect pinky frosty nude. Then we're going to set our face once again and with uh, Mario Batescu's facial spray with aloe and herbs. And guys, I'll link everything below. Next will be blush. The blush that I'm using here is the Elizabeth Mott blush in pink peach. This blush was sent to me by Epsi. And then I'm also using Max Warm Soul. Um, I love these, this combo. It's a very, very simple combo. And it doesn't gives you that overly flushed look. It's very, very natural. I'm also using the Sonia Kashuk um, blush brush from one of her limited edition sets a couple of years ago I got. Next, we're going to go ahead and brighten up those eyes. I love to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. This will bring out the eyes perfectly and um, will give you that awake look that you probably need since you're in school. <laughs> All right, so here what I'm going to do is to set my face once again with the Fix Plus to kind of finalize everything into place. And the look is pretty much done, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know I've been gone for a little bit, but I'm so glad you guys stick around. I love you guys and welcome back to school. Enjoy your school year, guys. See you then till my next video. Mwah.